Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're starting a new season, season 30. This is the first war of the season, and it's already gotten to a rocky start. I believe we had two people uh, that did not place their defenders. Uh, but we're going up against an alliance called Hulk. And of course, I like that name. But anyway, let's take a look in here and see what they have in store for us. I am a little bit uh, late getting in here. All right, so they already took out uh, Iron Warrior, took out the mini. Uh, but we've got Ultron here. And then we've got Mephisto. We've got Annihilus here. Then we've got Guillotine 2099, no one on that next node. And then we've got Man Thing. Hmm. I'm actually thinking that right now AQ is down. So I might bring in my Corvus. I could possibly get two charges off of that Ultron. Then if I bring in um, Black Widow Clairvoyant, she should be able to handle that uh, Mephisto. Okay, yeah. Should be able to handle that Mephisto if I keep her in a incinerate, you know, her Curse of Hellfire. That Annihilus, I could take with Corvus, you know, if I boost up a little bit. Could do that if, if I need to. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant could also do it. And of course, Corvus for this Guillotine 2099. That man thing, Warlock would be who I would want to bring in uh, for that man thing. All right, and then we've got Mini Boss Island. We've got Hulkbuster. Now, that Hulkbuster on that node is actually sneaky good. Okay, you've got Rage, but that extend right there has caught me because if you push him to a special two, you know his special two is unblockable, but it doesn't last long enough for you to have to worry about it. You evade the first part, block the next part. However, with extend, all of it is unblockable. So to fight him, I would use Claire and I would just keep baiting out special ones. That is what you would do there. Then you've got uh, Stealth Suit Spidey. He's not really that difficult to fight. Uh, I would probably just use Corvus. And we've got Professor X over there. Maybe Corvus again, if I have to. Yeah, maybe Corvus again. Uh, and then down below, we've got Old Man Logan, we've got Bishop, and we've got Domino. Now, depending on how things go when I reach Mini Boss Island... Um, I might take that domino if they clear out the uh, left side minis, but I'm probably better situated to handle the left side minis if I need to. So I'm thinking Corvus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. I think that will be my attack team uh, for this first war. Yeah. All right. So let's get on with the fighting. All right. So I'm going in with the team that I decided to go in with. Nothing has changed. Uh, I didn't see anything uh, that would prevent me from uh, choosing this team. And that first fight is going to be all Corvus. And I can get two 
charges off of that Ultron. And I really like the rework of Ultron, now called Ultron Prime, because he has a phase where he's going to evade, okay? Or he's going to have a very high chance to evade. And basically, to get that evade charge, I just have to wait for that phase and then attack him. Okay, so that's what you're going to see me do first. Now, look up at the uh, little icons. You see that gray one all the way to the right? That's the phase, okay? Boom. Now he's in that phase, but it didn't last long enough, and I had stunned him. So I missed it, okay? So now, here we go. Boom, boom. See? All that evading. So perfect. Now I can knock him down. Boom. See the little one? Got that mission. We're good. All right? Now we can just go ahead and fight him like normal. You know, do some medium light mediums, chop him down, and we're good. Now I have two missions done. I got the evade mission during the fight, and I have the tech mission because he was a tech. So next time I fight with Corvus, I'll have two missions done. All right? Now, against Mephisto... The only problem with Mephisto is that incineration aura. So if you have an incinerate immune champ or one like uh, Red Hulk, who, um, if he's awakened, uh, he has such a high resistance he doesn't take any damage, uh, that's a good one. Now, she has that phase, which she's in right now, uh, Curse of Hellfire, and... The only thing I was worried about is that he would trigger his aura of incinerate before I could get to that uh, phase. Because I had to do uh, two combos, light ending, in order to get there. So like right now, that I'm in that Curse of Hellfire, I have nothing to worry about. Except a parry. You know, and I, when I saw that parry, I said, okay, you know what? Well, let's just go ahead and fire off that special uh, three. I don't know what this AI got going on. Uh, it's recovering a little too quickly for my taste. Uh, we almost took him out, but 2%. Not a problem. He's going to be aggressive to try and keep me away from him, and it won't work. He's down. So Black Widow Clairvoyant cleaned him up without uh, any difficulty. Um, he tried to sneak me, but we still got him. All right, so now... We've got the uh, middle, and I don't normally fight the middle. It was getting late at night, and I was like, okay, it's Mixmaster, and I'm a little bit better than I was at fighting Mixmaster, and she's a mutant. So I'm thinking, oh boy, I can get another charge off of this one, and... Corvus is great at fighting Emma Frost. Every time he parries, the armor breaks, knocks her right out of that uh, diamond form of hers. So he is perfect uh, for countering her. The only thing I have to worry about here is remembering the Mixed Masters. So you'll see what I do here. Parry, medium light, backed off. Parry, medium light, backed off. Parry, medium light, backed off. That's pretty much what I wanted to do here. Uh, to handle this particular node. All right, medium, boom, boom. Get that special two in, and we're just chopping her down, okay? Now, for some reason, I kept trying to evade her um, specials, and it wasn't letting me. That's why I ended up parrying, and I ended up uh, just taking it and blocking, because for some reason, I was swiping back, and he wasn't moving, so I was like, you know what? Let me just play it safe block, parry him, do whatever, and we got her down without any difficulty. So now Corvus has three charges. Beautiful. And at this point in time, I went to bed. Um, now I came back. Someone, uh, I don't remember which one because I wasn't awake at the time, of course, uh, but one of my Alliance mates took down that um, Annihilus, 
who I really didn't want to fight, but I could have fought with uh, Corvus. And now we are facing Guillotine 2099, who is annoying. She's very annoying, okay? Uh, but again, Corvus can do it. I really have missed using Corvus in war. So the first time uh, I attack her, I do a heavy attack so that her digi cloak is on cooldown. And you can see I'm just whipping her. And that's it. Three missions, she wasn't about to do anything. Okay? So we had no problem. As annoying as she is, no problem. She gets a armor up, so that's a, a decent place for her. But uh, Corvus doesn't take any damage from bleeds. And, of course, as you saw, he just does damage. And he ripped her a new one. Um, by the way, I, I'm still getting used to the new layout for the booth. So a lot of times you'll see me go scroll down looking for a booth that's no longer there because it's in the common one. So got to get used to that. But I like it. I like the uh, new organization. Uh, I just have to get used to it. All right, so now I'm boosting up because Man-Thing can be annoying, but my best option is Warlock. Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to build up the infections because I want to keep him infected so that he will not regen. Okay, so he's infected right now, but if I can, I want to infect him, you know, and it does stack. So I want to keep infecting him, all right? And every time he's firing off that special, and you see how I'm parrying, parrying? Because when I parry, it puts on more infections, and so I can build it up faster. And he almost got to a special three there, and I was like, oh boy, you know, we got to be careful. We got to be careful here, all right? And here we go. And you can see I'm just blocking because it's not doing that much damage to me. So at this point... I'm looking up at the uh, health bar and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm doing, you know, decent damage. So let's just play this fight slow and safe. Okay, so just keep doing what we're doing. All right, we don't want it to, you know, um, we don't want him to have the infections fall off because if they do, he's gonna regen and that'll make me cry. Uh, I, that's the one thing I hate that, you know, you're working and you're working, you know, and you see his health just go whoo, back up. You're like, oh, my goodness. No, I got to do all that again because you guys know I hate long fights and that will make the fight even longer. So that's why you see me doing like right now. He's not infected. OK, so I got I let the infection fall off, but we got it back on. and He didn't regen uh, a lot of health there. So we're back to our game plan. All right, here we go. Boom. So we've got a few infections on him now. I decided to fire the special one because why not? Um, maybe it would help out a little bit, you know, and we just are still now you see I'm backing off because there's no infection on him. So I'm just parrying, parrying to get the infection back on before I actually go in and attack him. So it's a little uh, I have to be aware of the infection or else he's going to regen like crazy. So I have to keep on, you know, watching the infection. Right now we've got two, um, and here we go. Yep, we still got two, so it stacked. It went to three, but then it went back down. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, we got him. We got him. One more, and we're done. All right, so a fight that I just took slow and easy and just stuck to my game plan, and we got him down. Okay, Warlock, awesome. Love me some Warlock. That fight would have been very difficult, if not impossible, for like Clairvoyant. But uh, Corvus could have done it. I would have had to have boosted up really, really big and then go in. Now, I made a mistake here. Didn't mean to go over there when we've got that uh, Professor X up there. Fortunately, the new feature allows me to undo my move. So I went back. I was like, okay, we going after that Professor X. I likes to fight. 
And I already saw one person was up there and they clearly did not want to mess with that Professor X. So I'm like, beautiful. I know somebody that can take him out. All right. So you see the nodes we got to deal with. Who do you think I'm going to take against him? Let's see. So um, you see that XP boost. Y'all already know what that is. Uh, item use was on. So I was boosting up, uh, using those up uh, just to get some more points. There's nothing else for me to do with them. All right. And here we go. I'm trying to use those uh, gray boosts because I had so many from the compensations that um, that that uh, uh, Kabam has been giving me. Now, let me tell you, I am going in with uh, Corvus, but you see the boost that I used? I don't think that's a good idea. Now, you won't see why in this uh, fight, but there will be a fight later on where you will see that that's not such a great thing okay so boom 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 and look at that i'm at a special three now that's not what i want i want to be back at a special two but it didn't hurt me here okay but if i were trying to get my opponent down fast that would have slowed me down a little bit, you know, um, because I would have been wanting to do a special two, then another special two, and we would have most likely took them out. All right. But anyway, that is it for my participation in this war. No, I did not take that boss on. Uh, someone else came by and took the boss on. So in a moment, we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, we had a really bad start. Uh, two, two of our folks did not place their defenders. So we were severely down in diversity. And, of course, uh, they were able to get those points pretty much for free. So, yeah, we were at a, a severe disadvantage. And... Uh, we pretty much knew we weren't going to be winning this one, uh, but we gave it a, a good battle. Okay. But that's going to do it guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.